I live in Los Angeles, and I've been thinking of moving to New York lately. And whenever I tell my L.A. buddies that, they're like, ooh, how are you going to survive the winters? <laughs> survive. It's not the revenant. <laughs> I'm not going to be out in the woods like, I should have listened. <laughs> the winters. I'll step inside the apartment, turn the heater on. No more winter. <laughs> I've been looking for an apartment lately. It's an absolute nightmare, you know? Apartment hunting is just like online dating. Like you show up excited, right? Like, oh, right, oh, no. <laughs> you don't look like your photo at all. You're all dirty and you got carpet. <laughs> I think you should be able to test drive an apartment before you move in, you know? Find out what kind of idiot you're gonna live above. Cause you never know. Like I just lived five years below a 91 year old man. Every morning at 5 a.m. he would get up and ride an exercise bike. He's just up there. How long you need to live? You're 91, man. Tap out. <laughs> you know? yeah. If I was 91, I'd be riding a real bike in traffic, like, hit me. <laughs> it's going to be weird to uh, move to New York because weed's not legal there yet, you know? But eventually it will get legalized, just like everywhere in America. And I'm going to give you a tip. If you've never smoked weed and you think you're going to jump in the game now, this ain't for you. <laughs> this ain't beginner weed, man. You need to be training for years to mess around with this double black diamond stuff. Yeah. Like, if you're, if you're at home like, we ought to try marijuana, Gertrude. No. <laughs> I hadn't smoked weed in seven years, you know? And a guy walked up to me in Denver. He goes, hey, you want to get high? And I go, yeah, let's do it. I just took three hits. He goes, uh-oh. <laughs> and then he just walks away. <laughs> I was like, hey, what's uh-oh? And then, and then I tried to move, right? I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I was paralyzed. My legs wouldn't work at all. I was drooling like a snake bit me. I was trying to get to my car. I was like, this is terrible. Who likes this? Then I got in the back seat. I was hiding for a couple hours, just freaking out, paranoid, right? And then I realized I don't even have a car. <laughs> Also, if you've never smoked weed when it was illegal, you don't deserve to smoke weed when it's legal. You know? Yeah, you didn't earn it. If you've never smuggled it up your ass on a Southwest airline flight, or threw your stash out the window because you're getting pulled over for expired tags, you don't just jump in the game now like, thanks for going to prison so I can smoke reefer for my anxiety. <laughs> I read somewhere that uh, weed smokers are less likely to use condoms. I was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> you know, they forget. <laughs> I feel like no one's using condoms, you know? Clap your hands if you use condoms. No one. <laughs> Full studio on us, no one. No one's using condoms, man. My buddy called me yesterday and he goes, hey, I met someone online and I got lucky. I go, you used a condom, right? He goes, nah, she was cool. <laughs> That's what he said, she was cool. What kind of STD test is that? <laughs> How does that even go down? What's the barometer for cool? Like, is it just about to happen? Then he's like, wait a minute. You like Radiohead? She's like, I love Radiohead. He's like, raw dog. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm Dean Del Rey. <laughs>